Oh, hi. Um, good morning. Um, <laughs> I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so this video is about, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm looking down. I adjusted the camera funny. Um, this one is about, uh, just got this in my hand. about the environmental issues. So, um, the yaw and sway perspective on environmental issues. Um, I already mentioned it in another video that <clears throat> it's, you know, it's politics, you know, the Babylon tries to like hot, you know, distract everybody by making it sound like it's all about politics. The, pol the politics are a very real part of it. Like we see that with Trump, you know, some people just, they don't get it. Either they completely don't care or they completely don't get it. <laughs> you know, I think maybe in this case, both things, but, but yeah, if we don't prioritize um, renewable resources and, um, you know, and <laughs> taking care of the earth, you know, it's obvious that that's going to have a, a consequence, you know, and that they control things that's on such a big scale, just out of our, out of our grasp, out of our control. But to a very real extent, we control them too because they're paid and motivated and persuaded by the money they get from us buying their their bullshit in some cases, but their products and stuff. So how we live our lives, you know, makes a big difference. You know, like uh, whether we use too much plastic or maybe don't use plastic at all, use recyclable paper like hemp paper, hemp clothes instead of cotton. Cotton's really bad for the earth. You know, um, smoke cannabis instead of tobacco. Tobacco is really bad for the earth. And just like, you know, like there's a lot, lot of things we can do in our lifestyles that it's not just about your physical health, you know, like eating healthy. We also need to make choices that are relevant to the um, to the environment and to animals like palm oil. Don't eat things with palm oil. The orangutans need that. The way, how can that not be enough reason not to use or eat palm oil? Orangutans. Orang of freaking tangs. You know what I mean? So how we live our lives, um, that's, you know, like if, we, if, if everybody start, started going out with walking and riding the bus and only limited, you know, limit their use of, of, um, of their cars, you know, then, then that would be a lot less, like all over the world, all humans, that'd be a lot less gasoline, which would give the gas companies a lot less power. And it would become a lot less relevant to politics and things. And, it would, and then they would start investing in better buses and better trains and better subways. And you know, the, where we put our attention is where things grow, you know, on so many levels. So that, that's, that's a really big part of it, our lifestyle and politics. But beyond that, which is what this video is really about, is, um, uh, so we worship Jah, which is short for Yahweh, Y-H-W-H, fire, water, air, and earth. They're the powers within, seen in the original cross that antedates Jesus, uh, that later people that believe in J Jesus is Jah incarnate, it, it, it becomes the cross. People like me, you can see behind me a cross on the wall. To me, the cross on the wall, it means Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, but it also means the original cross, which is a disc, which is the, the vagina or the womb of the universe, meaning everything everywhere, all over the universe. And then the, the cross in the middle, fire, water, air, and earth, the connection within uh, with the universe, which is Jah. So uh, fire, water, air, and earth. So fire, we have solar energy. Uh, water, we have hydroelectric energy. Air, we have windmills. And earth, we have hemp. So I'll leave a description in the description box. I'll leave a video about all of those things, each one of them. But I've heard arguments, people say, which is which is the solution, hydroelectric or, or windmills or solar, you know? The answer is none of those things. It's all of them. The answer is all of them. Fire, water, air, and earth, you know? It's, there's not, the, the solution is, it's not like take a pill and fix your problems, easy solutions. It's, you know, we need to use the solar power, 
All of our houses, every building should have solar panels on it. Like why doesn't every single living quarters and building of, of humans have solar panels on it? That should just be part of, that should be just what roofs look like. Um, and then, uh, and then hydroelectric that, uh, you know, why would there be a dam that isn't making electricity? Either don't have dams at all or have, have dams make electricity. With a dam just sitting there not making any electricity, that's ignorant, you know? And then windmills, come on. If there's this big flat open area where there's all these wind, why not just, like you can, windmills make a lot of energy. They say, well, it destroys the birds. Um, yeah, that does suck. I don't know if we're going to come up with that. That's a, a pretty good argument. But there's got to be a solution. Like, in our houses, like, you ask a child, a child says, Why can't humans solve that problem? My mom and daddy have a fan in our house in the summer because it's so hot. And I can't touch the, the um, blades because it's got a protective case over it. So why don't we, can't we put protective cases over those? Like, I'm not really sure why, like, uh, there's got to be a solution. You know, that's like, it seems like an easy problem to fix. We're obviously not thinking, we're busy thinking about other things or something. Uh, fire, water, air, and then earth, hemp. Well, I'll leave a video on there. Hemp really does, it, it's uh, in our clothes, to fuel our cars, to, you know, like, you know, like those things. Solar, hydroelectric, wind, and hemp products, and other things. You know, Earth has many things, but featuring hemp will accidentally be right really often and will be right on super often and will have the best choice to eat really often too. So, but we still use, you know, everything we have with Earth. Earth has many things for us, but things need to be in sync with nature, okay? So the fire, water, air, and earth, everything within is without, and everything without is within, you know? There's, that's why everything's connected, you know? So just like the solution for your spiritual growth and, and self-knowing, gnosis, uh, is uh, the fire, water, air, and earth. Also, without our, pro our, our problems without uh, are related to that too. Fire, water, air, and earth, without. Within you, without you.